Hey, and welcome back to Tell Samira. So today I'm going to tackle the tough subject about narcissistic mothers and Mother's Day. I don't even celebrate most traditional holidays anymore, but this one was requested. So I uh, hope you like it. Please like, comment, share, and just let me know what you think about this one. So uh, Mother's Day can be very hard, especially if you grow up with a uh, toxic parent. You know, a lot of people love their mothers. They would die for their mothers. Their mothers would die for them. Uh, it's just a very odd situation to even talk about. You know, um, especially if you have people around you who have uh, mothers that uh, love them and treat them with respect, they do not understand your plight. So everyone's out buying these great gifts for their parents and these great cards. And you, on the other hand, may feel a bit... Uh, just don't don't know what to do. Like for me, for instance, uh, when I started understanding that my mother was not like other mothers, she didn't want me to succeed. She wanted to compete with me, um, had my sisters competing against me. Uh, she wished evil upon me, spoke negatively about me, all kind of things. I felt as if she was trying to make me lose my mind, uh, tore up my self-esteem, just totally treated me like garbage. So when I started, at first I blamed myself. I thought it was something wrong with me because why would someone's mom treat them like that? Especially when the first five of my years was fantastic. Then I had my sister and it changed. I went from being a child who was loved and adored to being the scapegoat. And my uh, second sister became what they call as the, the golden child. Uh, meaning she could do no wrong and my mother just lavished all this love and praise on her even if it was warranted or not warranted she just couldn't do any wrong so when I started getting older and I realized like wow this was probably middle school nothing's wrong with me something's wrong with her so it started getting hard to find her cards in the store I even stopped buying her cards because I could not find a card that says to the woman who competes with me who talks about me saying my hair is ugly because it's brown, saying I'm too fat, no one will ever want me, saying because I got an occasional C that no college would ever want me and I could never go to school, I wasn't good enough, I didn't have any talents, uh, no one would ever want to date me, yada, 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 all these things laughing at me, you know, if, if I made any type of mistakes, uh, you know, so I couldn't find a card like that in the store, so I stopped buying her cards. And then, before I stopped buying her cards, I would just get her a card and I would just put Happy Mother's Day right it inside. You know, then I got to the point, I was like, forget this. I'm not torturing myself another Mother's Day trying to find this woman a card. And no matter what I got her anyway, it was never good enough. If you give her some money, why wasn't it more money? If you uh, get, get her a gift card, wasn't it? Why wasn't it this type of gift card? Wasn't it? Why wasn't it that type of gift card? Then she had gotten to the point where she was telling me and my sisters that we should have went in uh, together and got her a washing a washing machine and dryer but we were just young and still struggling it's like how are we going to get you a washing machine and dryer we're doing good to even be able to um find some quarters maybe to even wash our clothes at the local uh, laundromat but she didn't care you know but the thing is is for the, the mother's day um you know they're just not satisfied and then they have the nerve to treat you like garbage you know all year and then on this one day they want to pretend like they're other mothers this is just part of the delusion that they're living in they're like they expect that all this this grandiosity should be given them and all this money and love and uh trips and great things should be poured out upon them and it's like dude you you are a horrible individual to me you treat me like crap you want me to fail you laugh from the pit of your gut if I fail you know you lie on me and call me names you call me bitches to people even when we're doing good you a lie and call me a bitch to somebody just to get some drama going you tell people I'm crazy but I am supposed to give you all this love and attention this is just how crazy they are in the head so it just makes it hard you know and then so I got to the point that I started being what I consider passive aggressive I wouldn't even call her sometimes for uh, Mother's Day and she'd eventually call me Samira you didn't call your mother for our uh, mothers there and I'd be like oh yeah I forgot or yeah I was doing other things because I was thinking why am I calling 
supporting you for? Why am I celebrating you? Just because this country says I have to celebrate you does not mean I have to celebrate you. Everything in my being knew that something was wrong, but I would start feeling guilty because other people would be calling their mothers. Other people would do, be doing things with their mothers. Other people would ask me, well, what did you do for your mom? And what this for your mom? And I was telling, I, I would get embarrassed by telling them, oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't call her. But the freedom came is when I started caring less about what other people thought. You know, um, I think we get too caught up on what other family members are going to say if you're not talking to your mom for Mother's Day. What are they going to think? The thing is, is that we don't have to give people an explanation for anything that we, we're doing. Please see my video, Stop Explaining Yourself. You know, if someone asked me about my mom, like someone did, tried to be real slick uh, a little while ago, knowing good and well I don't speak to my mom and shoot me a message talking about, how's your mom? I'm like, well, ask. You know, I can only speak for myself. They were like, oh, no, I wasn't trying to say anything. My thing was, I said that very politely. Yeah, they were trying to fish and got a real offended, you know, like, oh, my God, because they knew I was on to them, even though I was not even being mean. I was just like, speak to that person because I know that individual speaks to that person. But uh, anyway, I digress. But you don't have to give an um, answer to people. You know, I used to go on and on explaining my relationship to people. Oh, well, she did this, and this is the reason I'm not calling her for Mother's Day, and this is the reason I'm not buying her anything. You know, and people, I, they wouldn't get it because the mother is... Um, held up so great in this society uh, is way greater than Father's Day. Uh, people buy more for Mother's Day, more flowers, more candy. People could almost hardly care less, uh, couldn't care less about Father's Day, but Mother's Day is a different thing. So if you're looking for people to understand that you're not talking to your mother, you're probably not going to get it other than these videos about narcissism. If you're looking for someone in your family to tell you, oh, you're doing right, Oh, I'm so happy you did it. You're not going to get it. Uh, the, the feeling of guilt. Yeah, you might continue to feel guilt, but the thing is, guilt is a feeling. But you can decide how you're going to, to behave. Even though you might feel guilty, you can still say, hey, if I don't feel within me that I should buy a gift, then I'm not going to do it. Even though I feel guilt, you can still feel guilty and decide to do something that benefits you. Uh, you can still feel guilty and say, hey, I'm not buying or anything. I'm not doing anything at all. And still just sit with that guilt. Is it okay for you to sit with that guilt until it eventually passes? It may eventually pass with time. But if you believe that that guilt is a sign for you that you have to go out and do people please and do what other people want because you're scared of their reaction, what they're going to think of you, then you're making that, dis you're deciding that you're trying to force that guilt out of your life and so you're rushing to get rid of it oh if I buy her a gift if I get her some flowers I'm not going to feel guilt I can't sit with that guilt if you want to move on and you want to heal you're going to have to learn to sit with that guilt and acknowledge it and say yes it's here I feel you guilt however I am not going to do what I've done in the past why because when I've done what I've done in the past I still have just been in a very bad situation so it's up for you to decide you know, people will tell me all kind of crazy things like, oh, you know, that's your mother. You know, you study psychology. You should be able to deal with how she's uh, treating you. You know, you I know you studied how to deal with it. The thing is, those same people, and I've said this in other videos, you will see those people telling you that you need to put up with all kind of garbage. But when you look at these people's lives, they're not putting up with garbage. These people have been divorced. What I mean by that is if, if they want you to suffer and be in a horrible relationship with somebody that's treating you like garbage, yet they've divorced somebody. So I need to sit in a horrible relationship, even though it's my mother, but it's okay for you to leave your wife or husband. I've even had an ex-friend who told me that um, she's not going to be unhappy in, a, in, a, um, in, her, in her marriage, but this same person would uh, try to make, I, I felt that was trying to make me feel bad for not having a relationship with my mom. You're not going to be unhappy in your marriage, but you want me to be unhappy in this relationship? So we're taking advice from people who don't even practice what they preach. They're not sitting around most of these people, letting people treat them like garbage, no matter who it is. But you're allowing them to um, dictate whether or not you stay in a relationship with somebody who hates you and doing crazy to you. And then these people don't pay none of your bills, none of your student loans, but then... 
you waiting for them to tell you what to do. These people, you wouldn't even trade lives with them, but you're listening to them about what you uh -oh, about what you should do. That's the thing is that we have to get, and this is something that needs to be practiced. It takes a while to stop justifying yourself to others, you know, and just be in a place that you're not telling people everything you're doing. Not everybody needs to know that you have a um, narcissistic mother, that you're not in a relationship with her. You've been traumatized. You've been abused. That's kind of stuff like people who've been in your life for years that you have a great relationship. Everybody, you know, don't need to know your trauma package history that you come with. You know, I still have people sometimes who may ask me about my mom, but that's my fault because I was meeting with that when soon somebody asked me, oh no, we don't have a good relationship. We this and she this and then, then they, of course they didn't understand. Of course they didn't get it because they're looking about their own mom and they couldn't imagine not having a great relationship with their mom, which is pretty, which is nice. It's great, but that wasn't my life. Some of us, our mothers suck. Some of our mothers are narcissists. Some of them are psychopaths. Some of them are our killers. Some of them are horrible. Some of them are drug addicts. Not everyone has a great mom, but generally people don't understand that. So how are you trying to get these people who are so um, just in this system of mom worship, they're not going to accept you. You know, they're not going to get it. You have to get to the point where you're strong enough to say, I don't need them to get it, you know? So now my new thing is, I'm not telling people about me, well, except for you on YouTube. I'm not telling people about me for you, um, and my, me not celebrating my mother. If people ask me something about her, I keep it very short. I don't go into my trauma history, except for YouTube. Uh, what she's done and this, this, and this, because it ain't none of their business. These people are not coming to me um, trying to get my opinion. They're not asking me what to do. They don't call me before before they make life decisions, before they change jobs, before they decide to have sex and have a baby. They don't call me. So why am I? Why are you? If you're in this predicament counting on these people when they, you don't run their lives, but you letting them run your life, you know? So th th that's the thing. It's not everybody's business. And if I have people asking me about her, I'm sure and sweet. And if they seem like they're still going and going, um, trying to pry and they already know I don't deal with her, I let them know I'm no contact. No contact means I have no contact at all and I shut it down because I'm not in a position in my life where I'm letting somebody try to make me feel bad about it oh I have a fr old friend say oh that's interesting you still don't talk to your mom like asking me every few months have I talked to my mom help up I told you already, I don't talk to my mom. So you asking me every few months ain't going to make me talk to her. That's why I don't talk to that friend no more. Because I'm learning to cut all the dumb stuff off. You, I don't care if this is your friend or someone who loves you or respects you. Even if they don't understand why you don't talk to their mom. Because they have a great mom. But they, they have a mom. Maybe it's some problems. But it's still okay. It's not totally dysfunctional. Their mom doesn't hate them and wish the worst upon them. But... I think a friend should be in a place like, wow, I don't get that. I couldn't imagine that with my mom, but I'm going to respect you. And my thing is, is if they can't have that respect for me, you constantly want to ask me about my mom. That lets me know you don't love me. You want to see me hurt. You want me to be in bad relationships no matter what. You know, if your mom, if you know, depending on how crazy she is, she kill you or something like that, then they'll be all at your funeral morning. Ah. No, but the thing is, I understand everybody's not going to go total no contact. You may want to go limited contact, meaning that you may talk to your mother on the phone and get off when she started being negative, which will probably be the first three or five minutes within the phone call, if that long. You know, you may not want to go over as much. I understand not everybody's not going to do full, uh, full no contact. Do whatever you feel you need to do. But one thing I will caution you to do is this is that if 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 you feel so bad that you cannot separate from someone because you're looking for other people to validate you then you mu I think you must be uh, get to the point where you're okay with the abuse, meaning you're not talking about it anymore. You're okay with it because every time you decide, and this is my opinion, every time you decide to continue to go around that person thinking something's going to be different, you're putting yourself out there for the abuse. Only thing that's shown to that narcissistic mother is that you're still in the palm of her hand and she's leading you wherever she wants because you haven't loved yourself enough to cut it off. Now, I say that with the utmost respect, but I, I just have to say, 
when you're around a narcissist, you're going to be abused, especially if you're the scapegoat child. Whatever it is, whatever you do, it's not going to be good enough. And people say, well, parent, mommy should be this and mother should be this. The thing is, is I'm learning to deal with reality. It doesn't matter what I think a mother should be. It doesn't matter what you think a mother should be. My plea to you is, is to accept reality. Who is your mother? What does she do? I don't care about what you think. I don't care what Disney showed us what mom should be. I don't care about what the Cosby show showed us what mom should be. I don't care what Leave it to Beaver showed us what mom should be. The Waltons, it doesn't matter. All that matters is, is looking to see who is your mother. Put everything else away. Deal with her based on who she is. Because I tell you, when I used to say, oh, mother should do this and mother should and family should, should, should get you in trouble all the time. Deal with what is. And the reason I, I said this is happy Mother's Day, happy, not happy, something like that I label, is because it's never going to be happy when you're someone around someone who's vengeful, someone who wants the worst for you, someone who does not even like you. And I, I hope that this uh, helps you out. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.